Whoa, I've not been on such a big stage. I hope I just don't fall off. That would really uh, not be showing so much courage. But today, thank you very much. Is that funny? I guess it's funny. So I really must be a very good audience. Thanks very much for inviting me, and thanks very much for coming. And today I'm going to talk about something. It's kind of like a secret. It's kind of like a dirty word. But please don't think of it as a dirty word. Think of it as a great word. What I'm going to talk about today is courage. All my life I've been uh, working with people teaching and being a consultant. And I was teaching courses like change and creativity, leadership, management. But it wasn't until I started thinking a couple of years ago about what it was that I was really teaching. What I was really teaching people was about courage. What I was really teaching about people was to take a risk in their life, to do something that was really magnificent, to do something that was really touching other people's hearts and really following people's own dreams. I have to tell you honestly about courage that when I was a student in graduate school, the one thing that scared me the most was speaking in front of a group. I was the kind of student who was afraid to give a presentation. So please, Believe me when I say to you, I understand about the lack of courage. A couple of years ago, my partner and I decided we'd open up an art gallery. You can see it here. And it took courage for us to do it because we put our name on the gallery. We didn't call it ABC Gallery. We called it Tobin Ohashi Gallery. And people say to me, what's the difference between teaching and consulting and the gallery? And I tell them, it's the same thing. They scratch their head and say, what do you mean it's the same thing? I say as a teacher, as a consultant, as a gallery owner, what we're trying to do is inspire people. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to change people's lives. When we show people our art, we hope that it's gonna make them happy like this. Look at this guy, he bought a Ryota Aoki cup. I'm not happy because of the money. I'm happy because this guy is happy. And I'm happy when my students that I see here today that I haven't seen in five or six years are so happy with their lives. So when people say to me, why did you open up a gallery? I don't know. I guess I just had courage. I guess it was something I really had to do in my life, something that I wanted to do all my life. And what I'm trying to do with other people is also encourage them to have courage in their life and follow their dreams and follow their hearts. Every single one of us has one thing that we can create, and that's our reputation. You know, how do you want people to view you? How do you want to be seen by other people? How do you want to see yourself? And you can't build a reputation on what it is you're going to do. You've got to do something. I meet a lot of people and they tell me they're going to do this and they want to do this. And I say, well, why not? Why don't you do it? Because I like to be with people who are doing something, not with people who are planning on doing something. People think success looks like this. Woo! A to B. Oh, it's easy, right? Bull-loney. It's not so easy. When you think about success, it's really like love. Is love like this? No way. Love is really like this, okay? Sorry, sometimes it's like this. Sometimes it's like this. It's the same in business too. What success really looks like is a whole big mess. In the middle especially, it looks like a mess. So if you wanna take some chances in your life, you're really gonna take some risk. You're really gonna show some courage. And you know, you gotta be like a Daruma. You know, you get knocked down or like one of those little games where the mole keeps popping up. You got to keep on popping it down. You know, you fall down six times, you pop up seven. And like this Kotowaza, you fall down seven times, you come back up eight times. And you got to really keep out. Look at this guy, Jeremy Lin. You don't have to be a basketball fan to know that this guy has changed people's image about what's possible for a Harvard graduate and what's possible for an Asian American. This guy really has courage. This guy really has guts. And why not you? Why not me? And that's what I tell people all the time. Even today when I came here, I see some former students and I talk with them. And they're thinking, you know, because of my work, they tell me they want to do something else. They want to do something with more meaning. They want to connect with other people. They want to be with people who are really doing something. And they're thinking about making some change in their life. You know, some people tell me they want to get married. I don't know why they tell me that. And I say to them, why not? Why not? I mean, I don't know about the married part. I never met their partner. But why not? Why not do something different? Why not do something that's really like your dream? Some woman I was talking to before, they told me they wanted to work for a nonprofit organization. Why not? Okay? That's the answer that I give people all the time. But here's the answer that they give me back. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm a Sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid too. Everyone's afraid. Everyone has fear. 
everyone. But you know what I tell my students? I say, take your fear like this. I'm not a good basketball player. Throw it in the gummy buck, gummy buckle. Okay, just put it away. Make peace with it. Shake hands with it. I told you I was afraid to give presentations. Believe me, there are a lot of times that I'm very, very fearful in my life. But I try to make fear, I try to make peace with my fear and just put it over on the side. And if you're thinking about trying to get some courage, here's the, another thing that you can do. And I've got it here with some of my students here in front. Get the best possible people around you. I'm retiring from KO University this year. And I talked some of my new business ideas with one of my friends. And you know what he said to me? He said, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I've got nothing to lose. And he's absolutely right. Get the best possible people around you. My dentist is here today, too. Get the best dentist you can. Get the best doctors that you can. Get people who are going to say yes to you, not people who are going to say no to you. No matter what business you're in, you're always going to find some people who say, no, you can't do that. That's a rule. But your job in any kind of company is to find people who can say yes. Now, I don't know if I'm running out of time, but there's one more slide I want to show. And I've got one side that's caution and one side that's courage. And what I say to you is, what would it take for you to move from caution to courage? Not a big jump like a bungee jump, but a small jump that will just move you. And sometimes you need a push. And today, I'm really glad that I had this chance to talk with you. I hope that I've been able to give you some push, because if you show courage, the whole world is a much, much better place. And I just want to say one more thing before I stop. And it's my advice for myself, and it's my advice for you, too. No matter what you do, be great and have a lot, whole lot of fun. Thanks very much.